Welcome back to part 5 of the Iron Man post comp progress. There's some onyxes to start off. First kill of the night. Working with my uh, my new lance. No, it's, it's the same lance that I got ages ago. Nothing happened to it. It's exactly the same. We don't talk about that. Onyxes into onyx bolts. Not bad. On to the second hour, like four kills later, and two Trisk keys, which are kind of annoying. I got some more onyx bolts. More onyxes, alright. I'll just keep, uh, yeah, collecting those. That's what I want from Rax. Not a hilt! Didn't catch it on recording, because I'm trying to uh, speed through these kills. Doing 12 QBD just for my Reaper task, and got a royal frame. Uh, hoping that I can get a few of these pieces. Uh, maybe even the Dragon Kite Shield, and uh, go for that title. Oh, got 50 Super Restores. Uh, it's kind of hard remembering to ring switch whenever I open that chest, but 50 Super Restores definitely uh, should keep me on top of that. And there we go, 50 Reaper Assignments down for 50 extra points. Let's see what the reward is. I'll take it, that's a little bit of smithing XP. And the bruise add up. Alright, got a dormant anima core helm. That's... yeah. So, fun fact, uh, I think that in all of the time that I've spent bossing with Dung Beetle here, he has not gotten a single drop of magic logs. They just struck again, for me, and that's probably like the dozenth time that's happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, fun fact. Speak of the Devil, just got 110 constitution, so that's something, but he got magic logs for the first time. That's, uh, <laughs> that's funny. Like, the kill that was beginning right there when I made that clip, it, yeah. Oh, I should mention that that was my, uh, 51st Reaper task, the QBD one was from yesterday, I went and got it, like, right at reset, and, uh, this one was for today. Hey, there's a virtual divination level 100. Nice, just started streaming, got myself a Bandos Hilt. Uh, so that's a new item to the collection. Trying to get myself Tacit still. Helmet number three! Okay, there's a return on the Bandos chestplate I lost. Uh, I'll take it. I already had the, the other one in my bank, but... But that's an upgrade. Wow! <laughs> I just want tacits, damn it! <laughs> oh my god. It's always him getting the legs, man. I, I need some dormant legs. Okay, like three kills later. Man, I just, I just want some drops. Alright, another Bandos helmet. Like, what, three hours later or something? <laughs> before <laughs> are you kidding me before the tacits oh my god <laughs> oh man I actually have to uh, record this let's see Grardor I have killed 603 so that's pretty damn lucky but damn it, I just want my tacits. <laughs> oh, is that? No, it's a shield. It looked like tacits. <laughs> All right, and there's another Beastmaster done. Let's uh, pop that up. And click. Mm, I mean, I guess I'll take the techie. That's, that's okay. Battle stabs. Uh, bank value, I suppose. Yes! Fuck yeah! Ah! Oh. Oh man! Yes! Yeah! God! Finally! Thank you, melee. <laughs> Well, I'm getting kind of tired, boys, but, uh, I think it's 
finally time. I finally hit this goal. One bill. Check it out, man. It's pretty fantastic. Glad that I finally hit it. Uh, though there are, you know, these three leg pieces and this bow, uh, the web in here, that uh, currently aren't counting towards it. Uh, gonna end this Rax Hour early, just like I did the last one. I had something to go do IRL, and then, uh, yeah, this one as well. I'm just getting kind of tired. But it's a pretty eventful night. Looking forward to tomorrow. You guys may have noticed uh, just my big cash pile growing the past few days. Well, yeah. Collect and click and click and click. Oh no, I want to do all three at once. I guess I can't do that. Oh well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy some more bank space. And I bought three when I only needed two. So uh, I guess this is just a jump start on, uh, on Premier Club membership. So I'll just deposit it into my bond pouch for now. And uh, yeah, start working towards that goal of like 20, I think, something like that. Uh, but I'll probably just keep cash on me until I get fairly close. Came over to Arma for a uh, Reaper, not a Reaper task, a Slayer task, and got myself another Effigy, which, as someone pointed out, there we go, just right-click it, throw that into Cooking, throw that into Rune Crafting, then uh, Herb Lore, and Crafting or Agility, probably Crafting? Yeah, that seems right, and then I'll just throw that into Slayer. Uh, once I get the opportunity. Well, it's just another effigy, but I will take it. That's like, uh, I think it's like 68k Slayer XP is what I got from the last one, plus all the other uh, assorted XPs. So, yeah, construction. Then I'll take farming. Then I'll take agility again. And finally smithing. And, uh, yeah, pop that into Slayer. Oh, that's a pretty big beam, so I think... Uh, I think that's a good drop. Sakarith's Journal? Something like that? I'm gonna guess it's a Master Quest Cape thing. Um, read. Pop up. I'll, uh, I'll look at it later. Oh, okay. The next kill? I got Strissath's Journal? <laughs> I have no idea what these things are. I'm guessing they're lore pieces. Oh, there. I just uh, completed the Forces journal as well. That was a pretty eventful task. Alright, yeah, as I assumed, they were Master Quest Cape uh, journals. Though I did get kind of lucky with them getting them back to back at uh, only 100 kill count. Um, right here is my tuned crystal staff that I augmented. So I'm going to disassemble that. And hope for some good components. 12 Saren. Uh, that's not what I was looking for, but I guess there's some uh, some wise enlightened if I want. I'm looking for more faceted components to get uh, ED3 on my melee set. Cooking the raw shark I had built up in my bank. Did a few more rack skills and I uh, got nothing. Or, well, got some onyx bolts, I guess. Did like uh, three more kills and then it's like... It's starting to feel kind of dangerous around 220%, so I'll uh, take a break, wait till tonight for Path 3 to open. Uh, also, just wanted to show off the main point of this clip, uh, that I did change the overlay a little bit again. Figure I should start including my virtual level, just because it is kind of a, another marker of progress, even if, you know, my normal, actual level isn't going up that fast anymore. Um, since I'm not sure what the goals of the series are, uh, you know virtual level may be significant. Oh nice, came to Twin Furies for a uh, Reaper task and got an Essence. So uh, yeah, that's new. And there's a 102 attack on the Reaper task. Alright, already started up that path 3. Two kills in, got some Onyxes, so I'm probably not going to get a leg because I mean that's just what happens when you get a ton of Onyxes, right? Alright, so two times in this one hour. Got some onyxes. Just got signed there, so I'm gonna take a, a little bit of a break. Wait till that comes off cooldown, and then go at it with ranged. Uh, still trying to do path three, but up to 140% in rage. Uh, so yeah, range is required. 
it's still not going to be that safe. Just going to say, before anyone gets upset at my luck, look, look at this, look at this. Scarpy has received a Dragon Rider Lance Drop. 458. Scarpy has received a Dragon Rider Lance Drop. 640. Back to back. Get salty with Scarpy, man. No way. I got it. I got it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh man, I <laughs> Okay. All right, boys. Spider leg bow. Oh, uh, yes, yes, create, yes, yes! <laughs> god. Oh my gosh. I get to finish out the rest of this hour <laughs> using a new weapon. <laughs> I'm so happy. And uh, just to show off the KC, I've killed 252. First kill with this beautiful new bow. Beat my previous record by 30 seconds. Okay? That's... That's insane. Just for the damage increase. I, I love it. I'm so happy. Time for yet another invention level. And uh, I do want to say that uh, though I haven't shown any clips of it, I have been working on Shattered Worlds. Up to 42.6 mil Shattered Anima. Gonna get those uh, new abilities fairly soon. On to the next day, doing some Shattered Worlds. Gonna try to rush through these bombs without getting hurt too much. And, uh, yeah, just hit 40 million XP in Constitution. Should be getting fairly close to getting my first, uh, ability from this. I don't know which one. Sure, okay. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get Salt the Wound first instead of Bladed Dive, uh, just out of personal preference. So yeah, that's that's gonna happen, hopefully, fairly soon. Well, I ended up dying, you can see, had a ton of food on me. Uh, but, I ended up, where is it at? Getting just enough anima to buy Salt the Wound, so I'm gonna pick that one up. That'll be really helpful since I do, uh, might do some next today. And, uh, yeah, that mutated dazing shot will be a fantastic pickup, as well as Salt the Wound. So there's a new personal record at Beastmaster, 409. Mm. Okay, so I need 1100 techie from each of these raids, uh, from each of the, uh, the bosses. And this is like exactly just over 1100. So I'll take you need it. 1100 combined? Yeah, I got a, a small burial charm for 100 and then 10, 1078. Oh, nice. I yeah, need 1100 from um, each. Unless you get... Hey, I'll take it. We, we lost the base tank. And then we lost the poison tank, I think. <laughs> or the Ew. north tank, something like that. I don't even oh, know. Oh, shit. I, Damn it. I, I didn't put on luck of the dwarves, but I got double food and all my techie. So, right. So, in the end, 14,933 techie. Are you, are you being serious? Oh, wow. Just casually doing some camel warriors and got a uh, raptor key piece. Part three. Uh, I don't know if actually getting the full raptor key is a trim requirement or anything like that to do it at least once master quest cape but i'll probably end up doing it by accident just going for the souls and there is what i assume to be a master quest cape thing the uthgantos the ugthantos something like that let us give ug thanks <laughs> all right Cool, just got the uh, first Staff of Light for my account. I uh, don't think I'm going to alk it right off the bat like the Abyssal Whips, Swans, Orbs, etc. Because it's a little bit rare. It's uh, useful to augment, disassemble. And uh, it might be worth some powerful components. Don't think there's anything unique to it. Kind of like Zeros or, or whatever rare components. But uh, yeah, 
That's pretty interesting. Oh, and just a minute later, finish the Slayer task, and that's number 440. My task before the Ice Strike Worms, I believe, was also Rorarius. Uh, or at least it was a few a few ago was Rorarius, okay? And uh, towards the end of the task, I finally got two keys that happened to be Primus and then Quintus. If you look to my inventory, I'm or and over here, I'm towards the end of the task. I got Primus, and then Quintus. I... <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's different. As soon as I ended that clip, I got another Primus. Moving on up in the world. Still not Tertius Keys, though. Here at Glacors, and uh, I think with this kill, I'm going to get a nice little milestone. Yeah, 50 million XP in magic. So, uh, just round halfway there to 120. Very nice, very nice. First pair of boots, and let's see. Glacors. I've killed 222. So there's the first pair of boots. Uh, Ragefire, isn't that the... Yeah, I think that's the one I got the gland for as well, nice. Bam, there's a Slayer level number 109. Uh, it's... That's cool, it's another Auk unlocked, the Scarab Auk. Haven't heard if that's good or bad. So I'll assume it's pretty bad, since I've never seen a guide on it. However, today is the day of the most recent Slayer creature update. You get the Lost Grove creatures. Uh, I'm going to be pushing out some Slayer fairly quickly. Try and see if I can't get uh, one of those as a task. They seem to be pretty good XP per hour, so I'm just going to prefer them right off the bat. And uh, see if I can't get a new pair of those, or a pair of those new gauntlets. Uh, they'll be good for everything but ranged, from what I understand, uh, simply because we have nightmare gauntlets here. And these really can't be beat. Um, but yeah, it'll really come in handy, uh, especially since I won't have to have to make a ton of weapon poison. Uh, it seems like at most places where you can use weapon poison, it applies a fairly similar effect um, maybe not quite as strong but uh, pretty close and uh, close enough for me at the very least and finally after so many kills here this is like five or six soul devourer tests i got the feline ox soul coming to dk's for a uh, slayer and reaper task lined up perfectly got a seer cull for the first time uh so that's Kind of nice, I guess. It's another drop off their drop table, at least. And because I decided to make a clip about it, of course I get them back to back. I wonder if I should really go over every single uh, dragon hatchet I end up getting. I already got a mud battle staff as well, uh, so there's a placeholder for that. But, you know, these are going to stack up over time if I keep coming to, uh, to DKs all the way to the pet. I guess I can just show the tab in the end with... Uh, with what I have. Also, I've recently, um, well, at least now, I'm trying to learn the hotkeys to change action bars. And you can see I did change up my layout a little bit to put uh, an extra action bar here, try to learn some stuff. So it's, uh, yeah, a lot more intensive combat now since I'm, you know, full manual all the time. Alright, finished up that Dagonoth task from before, and BAM! 450 tasks complete for 300 points. Pretty fantastic. Gonna head back to Morvran. And, um... I don't know, I'm considering just, uh, canceling stuff over and over again until I get the Grove creatures, but, uh... Not decided quite yet. Spectral and four pieces of Acto. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so that was me hopping in a raid. Uh, but then I remembered I have a reroll token. Uh, so, come here, collect loot. Okay. Whew. Uh, oh, oh, I can't reroll because I already clicked it once. Uh, oh well, I guess this is the loot that I have, uh, which is fine, sure. That's, that's, that's some money, that's some money, and then, uh, that's some fletching. But, the techie, dun 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 dun, means I can buy Onslaught. Finally. Onslaught unlocked. There we go. Read that. Unlock the ability. Elite clue. 
meh and two um uh, and hard clue for meh into and two also meh uh so yeah overfletch kind of inspired me to start going for the uh various clue things like filling out your player owned house and of course die chance right who doesn't want like a died slap stab of sliske so um yeah i'm gonna start doing these kind of casually whenever i get them in slayer triskelion pieces etc and as you probably noticed in my inventory, had some bitter cap mushrooms. Bam, just making the fairy ring uh, for easy access here in the future. Uh, I've also done the D&D &D once, and I've ran around the island, I think, getting almost all of the music tracks, if not all of them. Uh, still wanting to come kill these things so I can try and get those gloves, but uh, yeah, haven't rolled into anything yet. Oh, there we go, boys. Just got the last of the corrupted creature souls. Whew. I'm glad that I don't have to worry about bringing Ushapti here and that I can just focus on killing the workers from now on. Um, yeah, awesome. And uh, with this, I'm going to be completing the Corrupted Creatures task that I have. Time to head back and hope for, uh, for those new guys. There we go. 109 Creatures of the Lost Grove. Gonna pick that one up and prefer it right off the bat. Fill out my last prefer slot, so this is my... My final band prefer list, at least for the time being. Uh, I remember Overfledge saying a lot that he likes crystal shape sifters, and I'm probably going to want to do some lava strike worms in the future, so this will probably change around. Uh, also, I'll, you know, want to do some night heals from time to time. Uh, yeah, so, so this will probably get changed, but this is the, uh, probably the final version. At least what everything will come back to will be this list. Alright, came to Vent, and man, like four items in, he ends up getting, or, okay, five, six items in. He gets a lance. Alright, well, that just means there has to be another lance this hour, and it's going to me, right? Or at least I'm getting all of the drops for the next three hours. And the other reason I'm here is to get my nice 26 Reaper points. Alright guys, to end off this episode... I just hit 50 souls in my Slayer Codex, and I've got two more here, filled with Shopti, that I'm going to take there, actually. Uh, but you can see, now I can teleport straight to the Sunken Pyramid, which is pretty nice. I'm going to go straight into the dungeon, though, and uh, hop down over here. Wait, I need to be in build mode? Right, yeah, so exit, and go back into this door, enter build mode. And, uh, see, I already put shadow creatures here, but then I learned that it actually matters which one you end up getting. Uh, so, with this, I'll be popping it here. Let's see. Use it on the barrier. Add this monster. Use it on this barrier. Add the monster. There. So I've now got two manifests, a blissful, and two truthfuls. Um, I'm considering leaving this setup for the time being, for whenever I get shadow creature tasks, just so I can get the dark mind pieces. Uh, and then I can remove these once I get theirs. I can remove this once I get this. And then I can just, you know, fill it up with manifest shadow creatures. Because these will be fairly good uh, in pushing for 120 Slayer. But with that being said, all of that being said, got some pretty good progress this video. Picked up the Bandos pet, you know. Got, uh... All kinds of drops from Bandos, that being my Bandos chestplate, helms and stuff. Got the Noxious Longbow, pretty amazing. And then the uh, Enhanced Devoted 3 on my Armadale chestplate, I think was this video. And yeah, uh, pretty awesome stuff. Pretty excited for what will be coming up, since I will be pushing out a lot more Slayer levels. Uh, filling up the Slayer Codex even more. And getting the new Cinderbane gloves, I got two... Creatures of the Lost Grove tasks back to back. I just finished one, uh, my first one there, and this one right after. Didn't even have to use a VIP ticket on it. Um, so that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, they do hit kind of hard, which I don't really care for. It makes me have to focus a lot more on the task than I'd like to. Uh, so I might unprefer them after I get a pair or two of Cinderbane gloves. But for the time being, they seem like they'll be alright. Uh, they may still be good to do afterwards if, they, if they're really good Slayer XP. Uh, but I could definitely see them being replaced by 
Well, Overfletch likes crystal shapeshifters. I think I said that before. And then uh, there should be something else I could put there. Like, um, they're going to be adding Soul Gazer and stuff like that as Slayer creatures fairly soon, from what they said. Uh, Asheron Mammoths might be good. Uh, Ripper Demons, because they are really good Slayer XP. And, um, you know, if you're good, you can do the Cannon Method. Uh, or even... What was it that I was thinking of? Edamu, yes, because I still don't have the Blood Necklace Shard. And... I, I would actually make an Amulet of Fury, since that's something I never did as an Iron Man. I just got one from Clues, and I kept using it. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Lots of stuff going on. Thanks for watching.